Hey guys, it's Agustin Tilmar again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to be bringing you another Oculus development video. In the video for today, we're going to be basically adding a new component that is going to allow us to track our hands and also pick objects in virtual reality. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. Alright guys, so let me show you what I have right now, which is one of the scenes that Oculus provided as a demo of how to create an avatar hands. So basically this scene is composed of multiple cubes that are surrounded in the area. We have a table that is composed of multiple cubes. You can see there's a cube here for this table, another cube here for that other table, which is the big one, and then one on the very back. And each of them have a box collider. The reason for that is because all of these components have rigid bodies in them. So the, the way to collide with those rigid bodies is to basically add a box collider. And then there's no rigid bodies on this one, so there's no physics that are going to make it fall. So this is going to stay idle in the air while these ones are using physics and it's staying, you know, within the boundaries of this other collider that is executing collisions. So each one of these components have what's called a box collider as well and also a rigid body. So if you haven't watched my videos on physics with Unity, make sure that you do that so that you get familiar with how rigid bodies work. So any object that has that is going to interact with physics is going to have a rigid body in them. If they don't have to fall with gravity or anything like that, you really don't need a rigid body. But in this case, because we're going to be picking up these cubes with our hands, we have a rigid body associated with it and they're using gravity because we really want them want to pick them up and basically throw them so that's why the gravity is getting used and the other component that i also covered in a previous video was the ovr grabbable this is an object that can be actually grabbed by basically either a ovr controller or by using your hands which in this case we're using the local avatar we grab prefab so if you want to grab anything in the environment make sure that you have one of these components which is called the ovr grabbable and there's also an OVR grabber. The grabber is going to be the one that is attached to your hands. That's the one that we're going to use to grab things. And then grabbable is the one where we're going to be grabbing items. So this is going to be the target objects that contain this one. The source, which is going to be our hands or the controller, are going to contain the OVR grabber. So the other thing that I am allowing in here is the offhand grabs. This is just a property. You can also enable whether you want to snap a position or not whether you want a snap orientation, a snap offset, if we wanted to snap an object or a, or a specific offset, and also the grab point. So for the most part, I keep everything, you know, as it is and, and everything works. And for the, for one of the demos that I did with my pair, my, it was kind of like an island and in a pirate scene, I also use this object and everything, everything as default worked just fine. So if you need to change these settings, just go ahead and change them and test them. But for the most part, anything that you're grabbing in here, it's going to have the same setup, which is going to be a box collider, a rigid body, and an OVR grabbable. And of course, the mesh render so that we can actually render those subjects in Unity. So the other components that are basically most of what I'm going to be showing you here, it's going to be the local avatar we grab. So if you want to include hands in your VR experience, all you have to do is just search for that local, or you can just search for avatar and also with so you can do avatar with and you can see that you can find that local avatar with grab and then that's going to be the component that you need to basically render hands and, and use those hands to grab items in your scene so let me just give you a walkthrough of how this works so we have the local avatar with grab which is going to be the main avatar this is the the one that is responsible for rendering your hands and also you know mimicking what is coming from the controller so for instance if you're if you're pressing the trigger button what is going to happen with the trigger button if you're pressing the a button what finger is going to move when you do that so the controller on oculus has is a, has a lot of sensitivity so if you're you don't have to actually push a button to be able to move your hands it actually has touch control so if you just touch on one of the buttons on the controller it's actually going to move one of the fingers so make sure that you you test that so you know how that works when you're making a game or an experience so so most of the components in here i didn't have to touch this is just a prefab but if you need to change anything you can you know you're more there's a lot of settings in here and i'm going to be honest there's a lot of them that i'm not even using 
but for for what I'm using I'm just basically using most of the defaults in here the the other components that I that I think are important for you to know is the avatar grabber left and the avatar grabber right so if you want to have a grabber meaning that you want to grab objects in your scene you're gonna to have to look at these two components these ones are also gonna have rigid bodies because we need to collide with the items that we're grabbing in the scene so if you don't have a rigid body it's not the collision is not gonna get initiated and therefore we won't know if we're basically touching an object so that we need to grab it so make sure that you you know you you are aware of that and this is kinematics because our hands are actually not gonna fall we're gonna have our hands always you know at the position that we tell them to be and then rigid bodies are gonna get used for when we're doing collisions with other other rigid bodies so the other component that is really important to know is the OVR grabber so this one is not the OVR grabbable this one is gonna be the up ob the object that is gonna be used to grab objects so let's say that you in this case is gonna be your hands but if you had you know another component such as maybe you are creating a fishing game and the you know when you throw the fishing when you throw the actual target that it's going to get into the water you want to have that target grab a fish so the 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 actual component that is going to grab the fish is going to be the grabber i don't know if that was a great example but it's always going to be the object that is going to be grabbing things it's going to have the OVR grabber and anything that we're going to be grabbing is going to have the LVR grabbable. So hopefully that makes sense for you. If it doesn't, let me know in the comments and we can discuss about that. And so this basically has a couple of properties. You can tell it where to, you know, start grabbing. So you can use a flow to do that. This has, I use the defaults, like I said, on this one as well. They have it set to 0.55 and 0.35, but you can change when to, you know, what point to start grabbing items. If you want to make it a, a you know a smaller number, you're gonna to have to get through the through the actual item to be able to grab something. If you don't want to do that, then you can change you know these these values as as desired. This is also another object that is required, which is the grip transform. So that's just an object that is inside of the avatar grabber left, and also the avatar grabber right. And you also have grab volumes. So in this one, we have a capsule. And we also have another object, which is a grab volume small, which is inside of that. So if you look at this one, this is a, let me just show you how that looks. And most of these objects are not even, well, they're, they're kind of visible, but this is going to be what is used to collide with the objects that you're, you're gonna be grabbing. So this one is gonna be a volume. So the reason why you need a capsule or, or any type of collider is because when you are moving these, let's say this is in your hands, you want to make sure you have a collider and, a, and also a rigid body that is going to be colliding with the items that we're going to be grabbing. So that's why Oculus provided these, basically these colliders. And then this one is going to be for the most part of your hand. So if you go back in here, these are just different volumes. You can add more if you need to. Let's say you wanted to do like an alien hand and you know, you have different volumes in your hands because they're much bigger or a different monster hands, you can basically control that by, you know, specifying volumes and then give it an array of those volumes. You also need to specify which controller is going to be handling the grab. In this case, it's gonna be the left touch. So that's what we have set. And this is using an enum behind the scenes. So if this was the right controller, you would set that to the right touch. So this one is left touch for the left one. And then the other one is just the same thing, it's just, you know, I, he also has a grip trans, also the grab volume, and also a volume inside. And then the only thing that I'm changing here is whether the controller is gonna be the left or the right one, which is this case is gonna be for the right one. And I also cover the OVR camera in some of the videos. The reason why we need an OVR camera here is because we want to, you know, we want to look around with our headset. So you need to, you know, if you wanna look at this area, you can move your headset and look at that area. So this is gonna be the camera that is that is gonna help you to basically look through in virtual reality. So I covered that in, in a few videos previously. I covered it on using an OVR player controller. I also use it for an idle kind of a stationary experience where I wasn't moving around. I was only using the OVR camera rig. So make sure that you watch those videos and I'm gonna put the playlist in the description of this video as well. So that's basically most of the setup in here. And then of course the environment, which I show you in the very beginning so the other thing that i want to show you is how this looks when we run it in the device and i did that already so i'm going to show you 
a, video, a small video of me doing that. Let me just go forward, right about here is where the experience is launching. And you can see that I'm using the OVR camera. I can look around and the hands are getting rendered because I'm using the local avatar we grab. I'm also grabbing objects. So the grabbable object in our hands and then the grabbable objects in the cube and then the grabber in our hands. So you can see how things are basically changing as I, as I touch them. So the T's are changing colors as I touch them and getting activated. And then anything else is just basically reacting to the, the force that I apply when I grab and throw an object. So that's honestly everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you have any questions about this, let me know. And just keep in mind that I'm going to be making more videos on Oculus development, including a new video where I go through and create a new scene by using few assets that I that I think are going to be really cool and then interacting with those assets and using the local avatar we grab to interact with those assets. So thank you very much, guys. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just showed you on Oculus development, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code. Thank you very much, guys.